Guys, if you've been following me, I finished up my uh, my new CNC machine. Um, the only thing left I got to do is uh, wire up the driver, power supply, and uh, motors. So, um, but it's done, and it went together pretty pretty easy. I'd say about three hours, three or four hours. Had dinner, came out, finished up again. But as I said before, it's got 25 millimeter rail carriages on all axis. 25 millimeter ZX and Y. Also 20 millimeter ball screws going through on all axis. And uh, precision uh, couplers on the motors for each ball screw. Um, this machine is made of T slot. It's really sturdy. There's no flex. Um, these supports here are all half inch 6061 aluminum cut straight from a sheet, not forged or casted or anything like that. Gantry, same thing, half inch all the way around here. Um, the design is pretty, pretty nice. Pretty, uh, I mean, stiff. Carriage on the side here instead of the top, so it's, you're riding on the side. Um, uses T-slot for the support of the gantry with the rail carriage on the front here. And there is absolutely no flex in this machine. And I got it set up for a three and a half inch spindle. I'm going to run a Porter cable, I think. I'm looking for more power when I'm doing aluminum. Seems like the, the, the Bosch Colts are okay for, you know, small passes, you know, real shallow depth cuts. It's just It just can't handle sidewall cutting. I mean, it really can't, a Bosch. So I decided to go big on the, uh, on the spindles to make my life easier. Um, precision uh, couplers on all access. I'm going to cut a dust boot here. I'll probably start working on that tomorrow, designing that and getting that cut. I'll just make it out of acrylic. Uh, but yeah, 25 millimeter ra uh, rail and carriages, all access. And what's nice here, this is the front. I'm going to call it the front. Motors in the back so you don't have to worry about it in the front like my other machine over there. So, but, um, yeah, the design is really good. Um, assembly went pretty pretty easy. Just some filing a little bit, you know, get in here. Adjustments, but all in all, loosen up the screws, get everything in, goes in nice. Motors in the back here. I'm going to swap out these motors for 425 ounce. I think there's like 275 ounce right now. But, I mean, they're fine, but I just want to go get a little bit more speed out of them. Because uh, I'll be able to do over 80 inches per minute for sure. But I, I usually take my time with aluminum anyways. And that machine, I took more time also. And the main problem with this one is I have to run a small spindle. That's the Bosch Colt there. So I'll have two full machines running unless somebody wants to buy the other one. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to take those motors, those 425 ounce there, those Kellings. I want to put them over here. Yeah, but yeah, real sturdy design. I mean, there's no flex. If you uh, want to do any kind of aluminum on a, a table router, even though it's not meant for aluminum, any any table router, um, get something with no flex. So everything I've done on there has flex, but man, it's a it's a nightmare dealing with it. Moves just a little bit, your uh, chatter and everything else. So having this, I'm gonna attach a, uh, a sprayer. Mister blower, whatever, probably air for at first, but I am going to get a vacuum boot for all my G10 fiberglass stuff, carbon fiber, whatever. So, but that's it. Came out well. I just got to finish wiring up the uh, driver and stuff. So, and then that's it. I'll be, I'll be done. I should be able to. Get some cuts tomorrow. I'm gonna go pick up a spindle and uh, mount it up and see what I got. So, final build on the assembly of the CNC machine.